Welcome back to The Morning Show here on Arise News with me, Katira King. My next guest needs no introduction. Daria Talade is a multiple award-winning urban R&B singer, musician, songwriter, music producer, showstopper extraordinaire and entrepreneur. Daria has captured our hearts for almost 20 years. From his humble beginnings as a disc jockey to his stellar performances alongside the greatest musicians of our time, such as Beyonce, Jay-Z and John Legend, Daria is a consummate perfectionist who has continued to raise the bar over the years with his show-stopping events like Love Like a Movie, created by his full-service creative agency, Live Spots. Good morning and welcome! <laughs> Wow, the only person whose energy can rival mine. How are no, I don't you? Think, I don't think I can compare. You can Kiki, compare. Kiki is the queen. I've seen you on stage, honey. You can compare. They haven't seen you behind the camera. Like, the energy is oh, your voice don't, don't, don't expose bright. me. Lovely way to start the morning. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, my darling. How have you been? I've been well, alive, and It's been a while since I've good. seen you. We yes. haven't caught up in ages. Yes, we haven't. We haven't but, since Love Like a Movie. It, I know, right? But we're about to do it on air in yes, front of our let's, millions let's, of viewers. Let's bury it. Let's throw it all out. <laughs> now, before we start with getting back to grips with how we are. Right. Let's take it back, all the way back, all the way, wow. for the viewers. How far back? How did this all start? Man, like, I'd, I'd, I'd want to say it like a mistake, but <laughs> not really, because, um, I mean, my lineage, this is where I come from. Right. Uh, what they call good stock. Um, hey, my, my late, okay. my late, don't, my late, don't be modest, my late daddy. father. No, no, no. No need to be. No need to be. Blow your horn. Nobody's gonna blow it. <laughs> right. As, you know. Very true. Um, my late father. Uh, you know, God rest his soul. Great musician. Um, uh, TV producer. Uh, comedian. Oh, wow. uh, probably gave birth to what we have. You know, now as a comedic wow. uh, industry. Great MC. Um, I still remember just yesterday, someone was reminding me that he emceed their wedding. Wow! You know, and that's probably, you know, eons ago. <laughs> um, just a man of many... Are they many... still married? Uh, I didn't... Well, I, actually, <laughs> she's widowed now, so, yeah. Uh, oh, but anyway, oh, okay. yeah. You know, different, different uh, circumstances. Um, and, and apart from that, um, his cousins or his mom... You know, his mom was a pianist, you know, oh, wow. um, a piano teacher. So I come from, you know, that, that sort of lineage. Yeah. Um, so I was pretty much born into it. But I didn't pick it up until later. You know, my first uh, experience with music was in a choir, a kid's choir. I think I was about 8 or 13, I don't remember. Um, something like that. I was young, <laughs> you know, and I was at the back because... Were well, you not that kids? <laughs> no, no, no. I was, <laughs> I was at the back, not, I wasn't prominent like that. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't dishing it out like that then. Um, and fast forward many years later, um, I've, I've delved into, of course, more professional music, um, doing pretty much similar things like my dad used to yeah. do, hosting events. Um, I'm not a funny guy, I'm not a comedian, right. but I mean, I have a sense of humor, so I'm able to, you know, carry along the audience yes. from time to time. I've done radio, television, uh, music. You've done it all. Yeah, yeah. 20 years in the industry and still probably, flying probably high. Probably more, but who's counting? Wow. <laughs> well, we are. The world is. <laughs> now, what yeah. did you think you were going to be when you were growing up? Because, like you said, you Pilot. came from a fa... Oh, OK. Pilot. I think so, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, as, as early as... I, I used to... My mom would pick me up from school, and she used to work at the airport, like training uh, right? air, air hostesses, flight announcers and things like that. So she used to work at the airport's training school. Right. And I remember, I mean, I could tell from hearing a, a plane flying by, I could tell what kind of engine, no. what kind of, yeah, that was, you know, that far you back. That so I, I think, yeah. Wow. And I would see the firefighters train in the open field, you know, wow. um, for, for worst case scenarios uh, at the airports and things like that. So I kind of, maybe subconsciously, I felt maybe, I mean, this is what you're exposed to, mm -hmm. you might as well you know, pick it up. But my mom was as well a broadcaster at some point. That's ah, actually where she met my dad. Okay. And I think, you know, all the creative juices just uh, took over. So when did you switch? When did the thinking switch from I'm going to fly in the skies? Very quickly. Oh. Within a few years, I mean, by the age of 16, I was already lending my support to Queen's College. Oh. Um, they, they had an opera to celebrate their 70 years, was it? Because they're just celebrating 90 now. So yeah. yeah. Um, so it, it was something called the Pirates of Penzance. Uh, I played the role of the Pirate King. <laughs> and before that, I'd been singing in the school choir and, you know, and all that. So that's kind of where, you know, my music started from classical right. music. And I went into jazz, church music, 
Um, See, this all makes sense now because the genres that you've mentioned yeah. are all quite performancey yes. in nature, yes. from opera to jazz yes. to singing in the choir. Right, from performing to recording. Well, there you go. Yeah. Because you are a performer. <laughs> you are a musician's I performer. I try to be. And your Love Like a Movie performances, I mean, they are the stuff of legends. Oh, you're, 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 you bear testament, sir. I, I certainly <laughs> do. And, I mean, you've got people flying in the air yes. on trapezes. Yes, I've you've tried got a couple of those as well. It's amazing. But for those it's who scary. have never had the chance to experience that yeah. magical yeah. phenomenon, let's show them what Love Like a Movie Check looks like. Check it out. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Love Like a Movie 2. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the magic. <laughs> Good. Singing in all, all sorts of I won't of, even uh, embarrass myself by <laughs> attempting <laughs> to sing opera on air. Mm. <laughs> but this is the Love Like a Movie that you had Kelly Rowland perform it. Yes, this particular one, yes. That's two. And then you watched Brandy's performance the night before at the yes, Aco Hotel. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she was in the audience watching your to, performance. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, artists <laughs> supporting <laughs> artists. It's <laughs> wonderful. Now, how do you come up with the concept of each Love Like a Movie production? Ooh. It's a big team um, led by my, my wife and myself. Um, drawing board is always, you know, always blank. Um, we don't, we try not to reference the previous one. Right. So we try and, you know, blank slates. What can we do differently? You know, we start to put, put the pieces together. Um, we do a lot of covers because um, uh, the sing along ability and the emotional, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, tugging at the strings, yeah. you know, the hearts. So some of your favorite songs from your childhood yeah. or whatever it is. Um, and we try and tell a story with original music and covers. 
to tell a story of love in different right. ways. That's why it's called Love Like a Movie. Ah. You know, so we have different themes. The first, uh, the first one was a, second one was a roller coaster. Right. You know, so and love is love is quite unpredictable. Uh, so yes, so it's it run you can say around and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We all have our fair share of you know experiences. Um, and yeah, that's that's how we we build it and start to put the pieces together. Wow. What, what are we going to need to achieve this? To you know, and we always try and raise the bar. You yeah. know, we set the bar with the first one and we try and, you know, uh, improve upon it. So with two, with first one, we, we had a special guest, you know, Kim Kardashian, and the second one had Kelly Rowland, and the third one had Ciara, so yes, we're, we're, I we're saw working that on, one. we're working on Love Like, like a Movie Jackson. 4. Yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> and then you had two Michael Jackson impersonators as well. As well, we did a Michael Jackson Fuji. Oh, uh, for, man. I mean, the, the, the crowd went, went crazy. Yes, um, we did. I was in the crowd. Yes. <laughs> and afterwards, um, Ciara and I went to a couple of nearby schools, and you know, talk to the kids, try and inspire amazing. them, and uh, donated a few, you know, items. That is lovely. To help with education. So, yeah. in terms of the original concept itself, because this is not something that has ever been done before in Nigeria, mm -hmm. what made you think I'm not going to put on a concert like everybody else does? I'm going to put on a to production. As, yeah, it was supposed to start as a diary concert, like I hadn't been out in a while. That's many years ago, and um, okay, it's time to do a concert. Yeah. You know, like let them know what you've been up to, but mm, how can we do it? That's going to really, you know, be different. It was quite a hard sell because nobody understood what we were trying to do. Like, OK, people are going to be flying. There's music. <laughs> there's dance. There was Fire breathers. What are you talking about? I don't. <laughs> or Otun, so you, you. <laughs> <For> you, you. <laughs> um, so it was a hard sell. But from seeing it, people now understand and mm. they're, they're hooked. They, un they believe. You know, so our, our aim was to raise the bar and also to show people it's possible. Yeah. There's nothing any Nigerian, you know, puts his or her mind to that can't be achieved and Absolutely. we can do it better than, you know, than anywhere else. So hey. it's a probably Nigerian production. You're so <laughs> inspirational, Dari. <laughs> Honestly, it's you. amazing thank to thank behold. You. What do you love the most about being at the forefront of the creative industries in Nigeria? Um, it's, it's a blessing and a curse, isn't it? You know, um, you, you get to do things first before anyone else, yeah. um, so breaking ground. Um, and then at the same time, it's always, it's a, it's a task yes. to try and outdo yourself, you know, <laughs> even with the music, you know, it's, uh, but, you know, God being being gracious, um, it's it's been a, a nice curve, yeah. you know, upward um, growth. So try and be better than your, your previous self or your previous outing. You know, that's always been uh, the driving force. Yeah. What would you call your best body of work, your yeah. favorite body yeah. of work? It's my best child. Like, <laughs> of course, it's my favorite. The favorite know, it's, child. It's tough. It's <laughs> tough. Um, I mean, from, from early songs like Escalade to Not the Girl, um, The Way You Are, uh, Pray For Me. I mean, there's, there's always best body. I don't know. Maybe a, a best of album would answer that I think that's what we need, that question. and you clearly <laughs> have to write on the cover. Special thanks to Katira King for yes, giving me this, this idea this on the morning for you, show. Kick. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, you mentioned Pray For Me yes, as one of your favorite yes, bodies of work. Yes. So I think it would be, it would just be wrong of me to not show it to the viewers. Right. It would be unfair. It would be very unfair. Yes, it would so be. So in, in, in the manner of being a fair person, <laughs> let's watch Pray For Me. So you insist on doing what you want to do. Say or Tinue, no matter what that's you are. Daddy Monlo. Daddy, I'm going to the city. You children of nowadays, you are too much in a hurry. Be patient. Be patient. Daddy, I've heard what you have to say. But I have to do what is in my heart. Daddy Monlo. Let me tell you. Daddy. Sir, you are on your own. Woke up one Sunday morning, told my daddy I'm leaving home.
love the fact that every time we come back to air, oh, you're always no, singing your own song. Sing away, music Darry. Is, music Sing is, it, honey. Know, music is all over the place, you know. <laughs> now, it's been four years and 11 months now. Hey. I wish I knew the words to that know, song right? so I could sing along with you. I'll I mean, you, I'll send you the lyrics. This you is, need to. You this need is the to. The authentic one, not the, <laughs> not the ones that they heard and they transcribed. So we saw Jocker Silver and Olu Jacobs in that video. Who apparently. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. That's not exposed yeah. all yeah. of my life Blow to the news, Jerry. Trumpets. <laughs> It's, this is about you. This is your right, interview. Right, when right. you interview me, then I can blow my trumpet. Well, that might happen in a few moments. <laughs> um, so, Olu You're Jacobs saying. and Auntie Jocker Silva, yes. who are Nigeria's greatest thespians. The, the finest. How did you secure them for that, for that music It video? was not difficult. Because, I mean, we have, uh, we have history. I mean, the, 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 them, my dad, I mean, they come from ah, the same of course. the same angle. Legends so I've, I've been legends. their son for, for many years. Right. And we've always been in touch, you know. We're like family, um, not like your own. <laughs> but we're, we're family. Not, <laughs> not so authentic. <laughs> but I mean, I call them auntie and uncle, as, as a lot of us um, in this, you know, industry. And um, we wanted to do things fresh, yeah. different. Um, and it's not something they do every day. Like they don't just, yes. you know, appear in music yes. videos, yeah, especially as a couple, you know, maybe one or the other in yeah. movies and all that. But I um, wanted to do it differently, tell a story and wanted, to, wanted it to be really emotional, you know, and, and hit the nail on the mm -hmm. head. And who better, you know, than, than... But you really succeeded when it comes to being really emotional and tugging at heartstrings. You definitely succeeded because this is one song. I might not know the lyrics, but yes. I definitely know the song. You know, yeah. Everybody yeah. speaks about yeah. it. It yeah. is everyone's yeah. favourite yeah. song yeah. of the moment. Thank How you. do you Thank think you. it is still possible for you 20 years later to connect with your fans and your audience like that? It's always about the music, you know. You, you have to find a way to... Um, to, to connect um, using your lyrics, your, the, the, the emotions at the moment, you know, em emotions will never die. Yeah. You know, we always, you know, either happy or sad. A lot of people are sad. I most agree. of the best love songs, <laughs> most of the best love songs ever are sad love yes, songs. Um, so emotions will always play a role. Anger, you know, excitement, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Music will always, you know, music is everywhere. It's in prayers, it's yeah. in... It's in everything that we're doing, you know, so... The universal language. Yes. So at whatever point it is, you have to figure out how to, to connect. Yeah. So it, it might be the theme, it might be whatever's happening, political, you know, economical, whatever it is. And, you know, you just find, find something to, to connect with the audience. Now, speaking of themes and about people who have used their music to change yeah. lives, who are yeah. some of your musical inspirations? Mm, everyone. Everyone. Um, from Quincy Jones to Dizzy Gillespie to Jay-Z to Linkin Park, you know, God rest uh, Chester Soul, um, uh, Louis Armstrong, uh, Manu Dibango, Hugh Masakela, Miriam Akiba, yeah, Fela wow, Kuti. Wow. I mean, it's, it's everything. <laughs> wow. You know, soft rock, hip-hop, R&B, Owambe, KSA, <laughs> Obehuav. I mean, and I've just been really blessed, you know, to have either met or share the stage with mm. some of these guys, or open for them, or just even prayers, you know? Yeah. When KSA prays for you, you know, <laughs> I, I posted on my Instagram like many months ago, there was this soundtrack that we're doing, we're producing an event, um, and KSA was performing, and he was doing soundtrack, soundtrack, and just started using my name to, you know, ah. to, daddy, 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 you know, everybody, and, ah, it's my, my head, oh, I was, yeah, well. <laughs> if I wore a helmet, I'm sure, you know, it would, it would have exploded. Um, so things like that, it yeah. just keeps you going. Just little things like that from different people, you know, and inspiration comes from everywhere. It's not Absolutely. just, you know, um, musical inspiration, anyone. As long as you, you're able to listen, you know, um, everyone has a story to tell. Yeah. Well, we are going to go for a quick break, mm -hmm. but when we come back, you're gonna sing for me. Yeah. You don't have to do it on air. Sing for me. <laughs> I'll pray for you and you can sing for me. How about that? Sure. Okay, sure. it's time for a quick break on the morning show, but don't touch that dial as when we return, we're staying with Derry. Don't go away. <laughs> 